go through some of these presets real quick and see how uh, you can use this right out of the box. Presets are contained up here. They have a best of section, arpeggio, which contains different categories. For example, dance or other. Let's play dance real quick, basic bass line. We have some gate lines. Gate and ARP. Something extremely useful a lot of synthesizers don't come with are patch options for basic uh, synthesizer waveforms. So for example, I can automatically choose a square wave. Or noise. The basses are pretty comprehensive. We have a lot of acid basses here. Some acoustic basses. Dance basses. Time section. Now the Twin 2 not only serves as a synthesizer for leads and pads, you can also use this to create your drum kick. So for example, they have different kits for uh, kicks, hi-hats, snares, toms. Hear those real quick. You can change up the waveform and sort of the way that the drum is shaped by going in here and changing the oscillator. Moving on to the leads, you'll see there's a variety of leads that we can choose from. Something I didn't mention earlier, as well as you'll see that delay effects show up to the right of your filters. So if I want to shape those, I can grab those and shape them. Control their filters. Either here, or go up to the delay filter window. Change the type of filter. There's also orchestral sounds like brass, arpeggiated strings, and a variety of pads. Well, that's a pretty basic walkthrough of the Twin 2 from FabFilter Software Instruments. Stay tuned to GearWire.com, where I will take a look at some of the FabFilter effects.